Hello. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about digestive health and the link that link to emotional wellness. And just like all of the other topics we've been discussing so far, they're very tightly linked, very, very closely related. Um, digestive health is something that's very uh, close to my heart. I've struggled for years <laughs> with issues in regards to digestive health, and so it's very it's something that's very close um, and something that I care about a lot. Uh, years ago, uh, 10 years ago or so, um, I began having some pretty severe stomach pains and went to the doctor. They found gallstones, so I had my gallbladder removed. And it didn't work. didn't fix it. And in fact, I began having worse stomach pains uh, later on that were kind of higher up um, in the digestive area. Upper stomach versus like intestinal, you know. And... So I went in again and I said, well, it sounds a lot like ulcers. You know, they gave me a prescription and said, within two weeks, you're going to be fine. They'll, they'll be gone. Two months later, after having been on that for two months, I went in and had a scope done and found three ulcers. So the prescription did not seem to work. Or it did and I just had a ton of ulcers before that. I don't know. Uh, so I was put on that same prescription for another 12 months, for another year. And... Uh, I just, I wasn't getting better. So I ended up going in again, uh, having another scope done, being tested, and discovered that I have a very severe gluten intolerance. So I cut out all gluten, cut out all wheat. And things started getting better for a little bit. I thought, okay, I finally figured it out. But then that lasted for maybe a year, and then I started having struggles again. And this time it wasn't just digestive, stomach aches and things. Uh, it started spreading. My joints were so achy. Oh, I thought I was getting arthritis. My thumb in particular was so bad I couldn't open a can or use a can opener uh, because this thumb, I, I went in and was told that I had gout and was given a cast, you know, for my thumb and uh, and, and given products to treat that. And, and no luck, uh, I started having hot flashes and I thought, I'm going through menopause too, <laughs> you know, on top of everything else. This is ridiculous. Uh, migraines almost daily and I was throwing up three four days out of the week uh, around the same time my energy just plummeted I couldn't make it through a four-hour work day without having to lay down <laughs> at work um, and oftentimes I would lay down and cry uh, it was it was really rough so I, I went in again and I, I went to two different routes I went to kind of your traditional Western medicine you know practitioner and then I also went to a natural uh, homeopathic type type clinic and uh, found my answers with with the natural um, with the natural clinic uh, we had a lot of blood work done a lot of tests done and discovered that I had adrenal dysfunction in addition to prediabetes high cholesterol uh, chronic inflammation and several several food intolerances uh, and sensitivities so it was kind of a lot to take in, um, and I thought, well, there's a whole lot wrong with me. What's the big plan, <laughs> you know? Um, oh, I was also so low on my iron that I was told that um, I was going to likely need a blood transfusion. My iron had become so low, and my vitamin D had dropped super low as well. It was dangerously low. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to get blood transfusions. I'm going to, you know, maybe surgery. I was also told that I was... Uh, uh, I have partially developed Hashimoto's. You know, I don't know, two out of the three T cells are active for Hashimoto's. I don't even know what that means, but I was I was right there on the borderline of Hashimoto's as well and uh, was told that there were some other problems that maybe would need surgery. And I thought, okay, well, I guess that's what, what the deal is. But the doctor said, well, we're going to start by changing your diet. And I thought, okay, that's great, but we need to get on this. <laughs> we need to save me. Um, but we didn't, you know, he put me on a very, very strict anti-inflammatory diet. Um, I don't know if there's a diet out there that's really exactly the same as what I was put on. The autoimmune paleo was probably the closest. Uh, my diet was a little more strict than that, but it was, it was, it's probably the closest I could get. Um, and then I was also given, I mean, tons of supplements. I was taking 15, 20 pills a day of supplements, uh, including probiotics. And, uh, you know, multivitamins and things. And I thought, okay, I mean, this is extreme, but this is all we're doing is diet. Uh, I also remember asking him and saying, you know, what about the depression? You know, is, is this related? Because we're not addressing that. 
And he said, oh, it's absolutely related. You know, of course it's related. Um, I had, I had chronic back pain. Anyway, it was just, it was a big mess. And his solution was to fix my diet. And I thought, okay, that seems like not enough. But I, I gotta tell you, it turned my life around. I went extreme. And that's why. But, um, it made a huge difference. There is, my friends, a true link to emotional health and digestive health. Um, so how do we... How do we help our digestive systems, right? Like, obviously, diet is a big one. Um, with my adrenal fatigue, the cause of adrenal fatigue or dysfunction is basically chronic high levels of stress over, like, years of, uh, at a time. Um, you have high stress levels, and they never come down like they're supposed to, even at night, you know, when you're sleeping. Um, and once, it, once your adrenal gland is damaged it you can't undamage it you know I, I can manage my adrenal dysfunction but I can't cure it um so one of the things I was told to help with my physical health but also my emotional health was to lower my stress we all know that right I mean we're all stressed if we want to lower our anxiety and depression we got to lower our stress but how do you do that life happens right I'll tell you how you diet diet is a huge huge Thing that we can uh, adjust and adapt to help with our stress levels. I didn't think about it that way. I thought, okay, I just need some more money <laughs> is what I need. But think about it. When we eat sugar, you know, or uh, processed foods, our body gets put under a higher load of stress as it has to work harder to digest these foods that aren't really foods, you know, uh, that are foreign to us. And so that is something that adds stress to our bodies. Um, so diet's a huge thing in, in regards to just that alone. You know, we can't necessarily get rid of our stressful lives. Um, but we can, we can choose the way we eat. And that will, it will, I'm telling you if, you, if you stick to it, it will lower the stress, the physical stress that your body is going through. Um, probiotics, right? Probiotics are awesome for... Um, for digestive help. Um, doTERRA does offer, they have probiotics for adults and for kids. And I, I forgot to bring my pixie stick type, <laughs> type probiotics. They have one the, for kids and they're like pixie sticks. They just come in little, little tube packets and it's, uh, it's a powder. And like I say, it tastes like a pixie stick. It's been sweetened and flavored. And man, my kids love those probiotics. They love them. I don't think they've ever been so willing to take probiotics before. So that's a great, great thing. And I'm I'll tell you right now, I don't, I'm not even going to tell you that you have to, you know, get a certain brand. Just get probiotics. Like you've got to add probiotics to your regimen if you want to help improve your digestive health and then also improve your mental health. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the specific links between uh, digestive and mental health and some of the posts throughout the day today. Uh, I just want to show you some of the products that doTERRA offers that help with digestive issues. Um, I don't have any of this yet, so I don't, so I have to show you a picture. This is Digest Zen, okay? It's an oil, um, but there's a whole, a whole uh, line of products in regards to Digest Zen from doTERRA. This is basically here to help, help you digest food. To help with, you know, bloating, with gas, with constipation, all of those just kind of common, yucky digestive issues that we deal with. It's a great oil. You can drink it. I mean, just drink it. Like, add it to your water, stick it in a capsule, and, and just ingest it internally. Uh, they also have a product called Digest Tab. And, well, I won't show it to you because the video <laughs> doesn't want to record very well, the other screen. But that is, it's kind of, it's got calcium carbonate in it, so it's its kind of like a Tom's, you know, a little bit. Um, but in addition to the calcium carbonate, it has ginger essential oil, peppermint essential oil, caraway, coriander, and anise. Um, these are all natural essential oils that are known for their digestive health properties. Um, there's... Uh, oh, there's an enzyme. Where's that at? Let me find it. Oh, Digest Zen Terrazyme. It's a digestive enzyme. It helps with digestion and breaking down foods that sometimes, let's be honest, sometimes our bodies just aren't great at digesting. 
And um, there's another one that I want to mention. It's called Zendocrine Detoxification Complex. I really, I want to show this one to you. Because this one is, this one impresses me. Um, so the idea, it's a detoxification. The idea is that it's going to help support healthy cleansing. It's not going to clean out your system for you. It's going to help your body to cleanse itself, um, to cleanse the liver, the uh, kidneys, the colon. It, it promotes normal self-detox um, functions, you know, that our organs are already designed to do. So um, those are just a few of the products that they have. Like I say, they've got... They've got the PB Assist is, uh, is the probiotic that they have. This is the one for adults. And then, like I said, they have them for kids, too, which is just, oh, fantastic. And then it tastes like a pixie stick. One of the things I like to do in my own daily routine, I mentioned the other day that I will drink On Guard with my water. Uh, I'll do that for my first glass of water of the day and my last. I also like to use Slim and Sassy. This is a, a blend by doTERRA. And in it is, let's see if I can find it. So it's a metabolic blend, okay? It's going to help with your metabolism. But I'm telling you, it helps me with my digestion, I feel like. It's got grapefruit peel, lemon peel, peppermint plant, ginger root, cinnamon bark. I mean, you know, ginger and peppermint, oh, they're fantastic for, di for digestion, right? So those are a couple of, that's one thing that I do every day in all my water that I drink that is not my on guard water. I will I will put this in every other glass of my water. Uh, it gives me energy, but it also helps me calm my digestion. You know, drinking lots of water. That's huge. That's something that I have really committed to. Um, and this makes it a really great reminder. You know, like I say, add that a little bit of this. Or if you don't have the, the blend, you can add just peppermint or just lemon. Uh, essential oil to your water. You can drink it plain like that or you could add a little bit of liquid stevia and lemon juice to kind of give it a lemonade extra flavor. Um, it's it's fantastic. It, drinking that water is going to help. Having lemon oil in your uh, water is going to help with the detoxification process as well. Just it's huge. It's huge. So I would encourage you to look into that. That's Those are the things I do. Like I say, I, I will do this or um, straight peppermint or straight lemon oil, lemon essential oil. Um, and then I also do the probiotics. They're huge. Oh, they're, they're fantastic. So they make a difference. So now those are the, uh, things I do. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's it. So I'll post some more specific studies and other information on digestive help down, uh, throughout the day. So be sure to come back and comment on those. Thanks guys.